All right, this is kind of an ironic thing over here, right? Yeah. Mao Zedong, as we all know, the murderous, you know, chairman of China who yeah. really just destroyed not only Chinese culture, but hundreds and of millions of people's lives. Who knows, you know. Anyway, the thing is, he had this famous quote. Maybe you want to say what he what his whole oh, yeah, quote he said, was. Uh, man, man overcome nature. Right. That, was, that was actually, that was not just a quote. That was one of his biggest philosophies. That's what yeah. he's known for. And if you go back and read some of his uh, passages, mm -hmm. poems, uh, there's a thematic element that you'll see across the board, and that just is man overcoming poems. nature. I, I just don't like classifying loves, them as poems, though. He loves poems. Yeah, I know. But it's like you, you hear the word poem, and you think of something <laughs> nice. Yes. You know, to me, it's yeah. just garbage. I wouldn't call it a poem. Yes. I'd call it like a, I don't know. <laughs> A scroll, a scrolling, a scribble, graffiti, you know, like <laughs> Good a, boy. a doodle. Anyway, there is a, I want to yeah. go back, though. There's yeah. a, a famous adage from him, and I'm, I'll butcher mm -hmm. it. But basically, this is, and this is the probably the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. If you're an old audience member, I've spoken about mm -hmm. this years ago. But there's this adage that he loved to promote, and he did it in propaganda. He did it through artwork. And Mao said that, like... Um, this guy, this farmer, had to go tend to his fields, and every day he had to walk around a mountain to do so. Yeah. So rather than having to walk around that mountain, the guy spent the rest of his life moving the mountain, mm -hmm. you know, with a shovel, just literally moving it so he didn't have to walk around it. And But because of that, he spent his whole life moving the mountain rather than, you know, actually just walking around and getting his work done. Yeah. And that was considered admirable. Yes. That wasn't like a, an adage to say, like, you shouldn't waste your time trying to fix something that doesn't need to be fixed. Sure. The adage was, man can overcome nature. And that's actually the quote. Yeah. So it's incredible. It's like, you might think that's ridiculous, but that was the that was his mentality. Yeah. And that's why you see such reckless abandon and destroying nature in well, China. Well, he's the guy who ordered all the sparrows he's killed. The, he's the architect of a lot yeah. of this stuff. No, he really did destroy nature in yeah. China. All the trees? Yeah. Everybody ended up starving to death because of his stupid policies. Yeah. You know... Crazy, stupid guy who also didn't he also say like to read books is harmful or to yes. read, to, you know, <laughs> he's basically <laughs> saying you peasants better not get <laughs> smart. <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. His grandson had uh, some great quotes. Yeah, he did. So did whole anyway, expose. yeah, you got to see that. It's funny. Uh, anyway, the reason we're showing you this picture is that's his quote about overcoming nature. Yeah. Okay, on a stone. Yes. And then after the floods, the stone and the quote are gone. So nature struck back. I guess man cannot overcome no, nature. No, and nature always wins. I am rooting so hard for nature here. Always, I'm yeah. Punching the it's air. Like, yeah, exactly. Nature one, Mao Zedong zero. You know, yes. actually Mao Zedong minus how many millions now? Yeah. Yeah, because anyway, let's, uh, let's move a, on to Mao the next Mao is thing. a trash bag. Yeah, what, what a piece a of garbage. What a horrid beast. Yeah. Oh, yes. This is amazing. <laughs> you can yeah, this, uh, I came across this like last week. And uh, somebody posted China then versus now. And so they posted a <laughs> picture of Zhengzhou, China, 1550 BC. <laughs> yes. Amazing they had cameras back then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Zhengzhou, China, 2023 20, AD. It's... The same. <laughs> it's the same picture. Photo. Yeah, just black and Look white. Look at the branches. It's yeah. the same photo, just cropped slightly differently. And then um, <laughs> readers added context that they thought people wanted to know. The wall shown in the photo was constructed back in 2011 <laughs> over the archaeological site of the original remains of the wall. This uh, careless process sparked outrage amongst many locals and archaeologists alike. Um, and they also say the photo shown in the past is the same in the, one. In the post, yeah. Post, yeah, in 2013 to 2014. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, that's kind of backfired. Yeah, it's really amazing, though. Yeah, so people started to, like, <laughs> New York now, New York, 4000 BC, you know, just make it black and white. Uh, it's pretty hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Xi Jinping in 1900, <laughs> Xi Jinping in 2023. Oh, it's backfired yeah. big time. Yeah, exactly. And now, this was something that this morning I was like, what are you doing here? I had to chime in, too. I threw in a <laughs> yeah. I, I After I made this, I was like, I can't leave this alone. Yeah. So, you know, Zhang He Ching, who we all know is a CCP official and does yeah. his thing. Okay, I'll get, get uh, a top propagandist on yeah. Twitter for, Absolutely. for the CCP. He's in the party. So he tweeted out, Xinjiang is a wonderful place, hashtag China. And this is what he tweeted out. What is this garbage? I mean, they don't care anymore, I guess. Yeah, so I said, what is this fake nonsense? Because this is just AI-generated 
There's nowhere in Xinjiang that looks like that. Uh, the flowers are literally AI swaths. Swath. Yeah, it's like a b <laughs> blended texture. I mean, just look at it. And the, the way it moves is yeah. like a parallax, real like bad, weird. Yellow ass. It's the, look at the, the cloud line with like a Mount Everest yeah, behind it. And, and that's above and mountains. <laughs> above the mountains. Yeah. And there's like ponds, and a tiny little road and fake blob houses. Yes. I mean, this is what China's putting out as this propaganda, trying to pretend this is Xinjiang. Like, Xin, okay, by the way, if you guys don't know, Xinjiang is where China's committing genocide yeah. against the Muslim Uyghurs. So they love to, you know, pretend yeah. it's all happy there or whatever. This looks like some weird Alpine, Switzerland, Germany type scene mixed we, together with... The thing is, we've caught them doing that. Yeah. We caught them using Switzerland and propaganda yeah. and saying it's Xinjiang. This is yeah. the first time. But now they're just making it up. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm, I'm getting excited because mm -hmm. we saw China's propaganda be like, Bottom of the barrel. Sure. Just the worst shit you've ever seen in your life. Mm -hmm. Then they teamed up with Russia and their propaganda started getting really good because Russia is yeah. very good at duping people. Mm -hmm. And they're very nefarious in what they do. And they have the same goals. Yeah. <clears throat> and then now, for some reason, I'm watching them just get sloppy again. And I love this. Yeah. I love to see <clears throat> how bad they're getting with this kind of stuff. It's kind of pathetic. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's like a watercolor AI <laughs> that a children made, a child yeah. made. Yeah. It's so rid ridiculous. Anyway. Yeah. This man is very curious, and he's on a subway, and it's hard to sit through. It's it's just cringe. Yeah. It's cringe. It's not it's not horrible. It's just cringe. You want um, him to like stop though. He, maybe a quick peek. You want him to stop though. You asked for it. You get it. I love that there's an open seat next to him. Oh, there's two open seats yeah. next to him. So she's he's like, like leaned in. Look at look at how deliberately like he, he moved in. He, and he's like looking. This guy is so annoying, dude. Oh, what a hum juice all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chinese Benjamin butt. <laughs> he really does look like he's growing backwards. Yeah. Micro croc. He's a tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I said croc.